secretive? Uh, this is Gilbert Leek with Manna. If she was the sort of person who wanted an excuse not to work, Gilberta Leek would have plenty. She has worked all of her life, doing without most of her 75 years. Yes, I know, but this is what I was calling you. Aunt Dale is at home sick, and they're not going to have the meeting. When she was young, she remembers wanting new shoes, but money was short for this coal miner's daughter. We only got things when we needed them, not just because they were on sale or just because the Jones had them. Partly it was her upbringing that led her to work here at an office that helps people get food. Any day she's not in the office, she may be helping an elderly friend buy groceries or pick up government commodities. She's happy that there are programs to help the poor, but she won't accept help for herself. She insists on paying her own way, even though that is getting difficult to do. You have to hear Gilberta explain why she doesn't accept government aid. If I accept too much from you, I don't have any freedom. And I want to be free to tell you to go to hell if I need to. And if you're giving me, I'm getting all this stuff from you, I can't do that. I got to bow down to you. Like many of her elderly friends, Gilberta has a monthly social security check and a small retirement fund. And that job that pays $3.35 an hour. She understands why so many of her friends come to depend on the government food program, because food is her biggest expense. And she wonders why her state government adds to that expense with a sales tax. Do you realize, this is a question I ask, do you realize how much sales tax that you pay in a month's time? One month she did keep track and was amazed. In a month's time, I could buy about $20 worth of groceries because that particular time I had spent $20 in sales tax. In one month? In one month. Gilberta gets the feeling that something is unfair about the sales tax system. And lots of people, including one of this state's leading economists, says she's right. Uh, in fact, if you talk about the very lowest income groups in our state, I'm sure you would find that they're paying more than twice as much as people towards the upper end of our scale, simply because of the, the fact that the low income person will be spending all of their income, and they'll be spending almost all of their income on sales taxable commodities. Gilberta Leake spends about 4.5% of her $10,000 income on sales tax. A person making $35,000 a year pays about 2.85% of his income in sales tax. A person making $80,000, eight times what Mrs. Leake earns, pays less than half the percentage that she pays in sales tax. My bread costs just as much as their bread costs. But don't take away an extra loaf of bread with the sales tax. Now, see, I'm thinking this, with the sales tax, all of the food would make it a little more equitable. The problem is that given the kind of tax we've chosen to, to use, if we take the sales tax off of groceries, we would need to increase our rate perhaps as much as 1% to make up for the lost revenues. And there is not a lot of enthusiasm for doing that. Our rate is high, and I acknowledge that our rate needs to be lowered, and, but more than anything, it needs to be taken off of necessities, food, uh, particularly. And how would you make up that 1%? Well, I'm not prepared at this time to recommend a change. That's a common attitude around the Capitol. Legislators complain the system we have is not fair to people like Gilberta, but they don't like the prospect of dramatically changing Tennessee's tax system either. Uh, taxes, I realize, you got to have some, this is where we get our services from. It's got to be paid for somewhere, and I don't mind paying my fair share. But I do think that it should come from a broader spectrum of people than rather than just a few people. Whether it comes from government stockpiles or from the grocery shelves, food is the one element that we all, rich and poor, require. And we need roughly the same amount of food in good economic times and bad. That's why Tennessee's sales tax on food is hard to replace, like rice and milk. The sales tax on food is a staple of Tennessee government's diet. As long as people eat, state government will have a steady and predictable tax income, even if it burdens the poor more than the rich. But I got to pay to spend my money. To eat, 
and if i don't eat, i don't live.